Good morning. It's Sunday morning, February the 28th, 2021. I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word this morning. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And we're going to be reading again this morning from Proverbs chapter 1, a familiar verse of Scripture. And I won't take the time to read the entire context or text of this passage of Scripture. Proverbs 1.10 says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave, and whole as those that go down into the pit. And this same uh, type of conversation continues for a number of verses after this, and we won't take the time to read them all right now, but it just caused me to think about the power of peer influence. The We used to call it peer pressure years ago, pressuring young people, adolescents, pre-adolescents, to do things they wouldn't normally do just because their friends are encouraging them or pressuring them to do those things. And this is a persistent and ever-present danger for youth. As we grow older and become more sure of ourselves, we probably are less uh, are less affected by peer influence or peer pressure. And because of the fact that we kind of know where we're headed and we kind of grow in self-confidence, but as a, as a rule, young people, teenagers, pre-adolescents, are very unsure of themselves. It's a very unstable, changeable time of life and youth are very much affected by the opinions and the directions and the pressures that their friends bring to bear on them. They may be influenced to do some things that they ought not to do. And that's what Solomon was warning his son against. My son of sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Don't you go in with them and do something that you ought not to do just because they pressure you to do it. And it's wise for parents today to instruct their children in these ways as well. Just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean it's right to do and doesn't mean that you should do it. And so as we consider this subject of the strength, the power of peer influence, I suppose the next conclusion is we need to be very careful about the kind of friends that our children have close around them. Are they going to be a positive influence or are they going to be a negative influence? And this is a very difficult thing because sometimes friends are raising children in a way different than than you would raise them yourself and they're not making their children accountable to regulations, to discipline, to commands, to submission, and they're not causing them to become obedient when they give them instructions and so on. And the child kind of grows up on his own or her own. And that's not the kind of friend that you want your children to be having. They will be influencing them in a negative way instead of in a positive way. Just a word to the wise. Be very careful. Be selective. Most parents that I know are very conscientious about how they raise their children, and you ought to be equally conscientious about the influences that you allow your children to be affected by. God help you as you make these kinds of choices and commit yourself, dedicate yourself to bring up your children, to train them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, and ask the Lord to teach you what all that means and what all that entails. God bless you as you endeavor on this great journey.